Good morning, good morning. It's 3.07 a.m. I'm on my way to the gym. I feel good. I feel very good. I feel like I'm stronger. I feel like I'm wiser. I feel unstoppable. And that wasn't always the case. A lot has shifted in the way I think, the way I see things, perspective. Being able to slow down the mind and the emotions and the feelings long enough to have a very brief conversation, simply reflecting, right? Simply reflecting. Complexity is the enemy of execution. The worst thing you can do is overthink something. And I got to be honest, being around the right people make a huge impact because the way that they think will rub off on you. Having a prayer life gives you direct communication with God. Slowing down the emotional process gives you enough time to say, I've been here before. I've seen this movie before. This doesn't end the way that I just thought it would end. It ends better. But the key thing that has allowed me to be even more confident is to be thankful for the process. To be thankful to wake up this early and build a discipline. Thankful for the process that not everything is going to go right, but it's how you handle it. The process. So it's an accumulation of things. But you can you can isolate it down to three or four th basics. That can give you a fundamental foundation. To build the rest of your life on. But nobody said it was going to be easy. That is a fact. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Children have a false sense of what life is really about because they're emulating only what they see. And as parents, we don't sit down and discuss the bills with children. As parents, we do our best to try to avoid exposing our children to adult matters. So they believe that they're emulating, but what they're doing is they're only emulating the side that we want to show them. They don't see the full picture. So we can discount out the fact that a child does not necessarily have the ability to tie together what I'm talking about. But as an adult, if you've been through some things you've experienced some things, you survived some things, then you have an understanding of what it is that's being said. And if it was easy, then everybody would do it. If it was simple, everybody would do it. But what we don't give ourselves enough credit for is the fact that if we just took the time to hone in on what it is that we're trying to accomplish, and then we put the right dynamic in the right pieces together, then that goal that we're looking to achieve becomes achievable, doable. But you have to make a stand. And throughout history, it's rare that you hear of a group of individuals 
making a pact to take the journey together. People are built differently. So when you expect another person to hold to the same commitment that you've set for yourself, that could be a false illusion because it's not set in stone that they're made out of the same cloth that you're made out of. So be prepared to walk this alone. But be mindful that the journey has built in different assist steps at every level. And they come in all shape, shape, sizes, and forms, people, situations. See, I heard that just because somebody else might be going through something or something might be happening, that might not be your testimony. That might not be for you. That lesson might not have necessarily been for you. But it's a lesson nonetheless. See, the one thing that you need in order to build the endurance and the stamina, the discipline, is the process. The one thing we don't want is the process. The one thing that will build us is the process. The one thing that will break us is the process. It doesn't matter what is due down the road. The only thing that matters is simply what you start right now. Because as you go along, provisions will be there. But if you're waiting for everything to line up perfectly, for every dot to connect, every arrow to point in the direction you need to go, it'll never happen. And you will be stuck forever. 